the whole world is facing a similar problem. So what Europe can learn, uh, I mean the problems are within Europe, problems are outside Europe and the developing countries have gone through uh, situations of crisis and now that Europe is going through crisis, especially Greece and Portugal and Spain, well they are facing very similar situation which earlier never used to be. You know, unemployment is so high and uh, the social system is crashing down, uh, crumbling down. The, um, the welfare state is uh, withering away. So this is a new situation. Now about the developing countries, what they can learn is how in the context of a country like India, for example, it started with the notion of uh, being a developmental state. But now that notion of development has moved, uh, uh, sort of, you know, it's over. And now it is the market which is at the center stage. And that makes it very difficult with inequality, with unemployment, for people to survive, uh, for people to uh, sort of, you know, continue living, more or less. So India has gone through a process which probably is going to be repeated, uh, unfortunately so, in, in the southern European countries where you face uh, rampant poverty and, and uh, unemployment and destitution and the state has just washed off its hands and, uh, and polarization is continuing because big capital is making money and so there are many rich people and at the same time uh, you find increasing number of young people in particular, they are jobless and uh, the situation is rather grim. Yeah. So this is, you know, what is going to be, what is going to be the pattern in Europe now has been happening in developing countries. So there is something which uh, the, the, the uh, Europe should uh, find out a way to stop this process and to, to, to uh, have policies which, uh, which bring to an end such situations.